Hey YouTube, Carrie here from Razor Sharp Crafts and <clears throat> we're gonna make a really quick easy card together. Now I say really quick and it probably won't be because every time I say really quick it never is. So let's just get to it. I'm gonna be using diamond dies. Well, one of diamond dies dies. It's the um, fishtail uh, nesting die and this one is Um, the third from the biggest. So you got the biggest, then one, then this one. So that's the one we're going to be using. But we're going to alter it. And I'm going to show you how you can alter these to use them in a different way. So we, this will be the die we'll be using. So check out diamonddies.com. Go on over there, buy some stuff, use coupon code THANKSCARRY. And you'll get 10% off your entire order and free shipping on all orders over $35.00. That is international and U.S., so it's definitely an awesome deal. So I'll get that out of the way. All that information will be in the description box down below. So, okay. So we are starting the base of our card. It is going to be, um, this is 5.5 by 8.5. And, and then use whatever you use for scoring. And you're going to score it at four and a quarter. Now, this is where you're going to see me do one thing different than what I normally do. Um, those of you that follow me and watch my videos all the time, 99.9% .9 of the time I make cards like this. Today's card is going to be like this. So, I'm mixing it up a bit. Alright, so there, you have your base. I'm just scoring it really good. And this, like I've told people before, um, if when you cut your paper, if your little thingy here, pushes the paper down a little bit into the groove and leaves like a little lip on your paper, you can get rid of that by just scoring the edge or just rubbing the edge with your bone folder. And that's all I do. As long as my blade isn't like giving my paper um, like a ripped edge look, I try to use it as long as possible. So all right, so we got that. I'm setting that aside. Then, 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 then. <laughs> um, yeah, I've already picked out, I want to show you though. But I've already picked out four papers. This is the Christy Tom, Tomlinson. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I've heard it said a million times, but I can't remember. Tomlinson. Um, she Art 6x6 Paper Petite. 6x6 six six petite paper pack. And um, there's some really awesome designs in here. But I've already picked out four. I just wanted to show you where I got the paper from. So the four I'm using are this. This is a nice blue with um, some little designs in there. A uh, pinkish red with blue circles. Yellow chevrons with like little branch, excuse me, little branches in there. And then purple chevrons with a grid behind it, like grid papers behind it. Now, I'm not positive on my measurements just yet. I'm starting a little bit bigger and I'm going to work my way. If this size will work, then we'll go with it. If not, I'll work my way down. But I'm starting with, you can't see, but I'm cutting it into uh, two by two squares. And here, I'll move it up so I can use the bottom of my cutting board. So you can actually see what I'm doing. So I love this Fiskars cutting board because you can line it at the bottom, you can line it at the top. It does not matter. So yep, I'm just making little two by two squares. OK, 
kind of boring, I know. I've been uh, getting stumped on projects here lately. I'm kind of just like, oh my god, what can I make next? So, I'm sorry I haven't had much coming out lately. That's why I don't normally make this many cards, but cards are what are coming to me when I'm trying to think of ideas, so I just roll with what I what comes to me. So, okay. Yeah, these are going to be too big. All right, so we're just going to cut them down a quarter of an inch at a time. So we're going to make them one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So... If you don't want to watch me cut, you can fast forward till you see me actually doing something different. But I just, I'm not sure what size I'm going to need here. I'm thinking two by two, but uh, it's a little bigger than what I wanted. That's why you always cut a little bigger than what you think you're going to use if you don't know an exact measurement because, you know, obviously you can always go smaller but you can't really go bigger unless you cut a new piece. Wait a minute. Okay, that one looked bigger than two inches that one way. Um, and if you're like me, I don't like to waste paper, so I don't want to cut a whole new piece if I can avoid it by just cutting off little slivers at a time. So now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. So, okay, one and three quarters by one and three quarters is what we're working with. Now... I need to figure out trying to figure out what is pleasing to me here. Yeah, I think I like that design. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm getting my We Are Memory Keepers um, Crocodile Corner Chomper. And this is the half inch and a quarter inch. And right now, we are going to use the half inch side. And yeah, like that, like that. I'm going to chomp opposite corners to give that look right there. Okay. I, just, I really got to concentrate here. I don't want to chomp the wrong corners. So for you, we need to chomp that corner, and that corner, and then for you, we need to chomp that corner, and that corner. So, in case you've ever wondered, that's how you can get these little fun funky little squares that either point in, point out, however you want to arrange them. Now I contemplated using my quarter of an inch, or my eighth of an inch, on the opposite corner. 
but I don't want to now. I like the way that looks. So we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, attach these using pop dots. foam squares, whatever you want to call them, dimensionals, everybody's got a different name for them. And I'm actually going to use these smaller ones. Alrighty, I need to hold this down because I need to line it up. Am I in frame? Yeah, okay. Now see when I originally was going to do this, my first thought was to create these laying just on the card like they are and not popping them off and then using the Monarch Butterfly to cut and put over them, like here in the center. And it would still, I mean it's definitely would be a really, really cute idea, but I've been using the Monarch Butterfly a lot. So, I decided not to do it, and I'm just putting one of these in each corner. But you could definitely do that, feel free to take that idea because I'll probably still create a card like that at some point because I think it would be really cute. But um. I'm just throwing that out there, you know. All right. Perfect. And we're just going to do that for all four. Doopy doo. -doo. Sing a little song. Yeah, I was getting really into mixed media and stuff. But then, like, um, hold on. I have the hardest time multitasking. Er, please come back off. Yeah, I was getting really big into mixed media. At one point there last year but now I uh, watch my head I'm sorry guys I have to look over top of my project when I'm trying to line stuff up this one just does not want to line up for me Alright, good enough. Okay, yeah. And then, um, I don't know, I just really started, I like flipped back at Christmas time. I just really got into card making. Um, could have, could have been when we did the inspiration card hop there every Friday. But, man, now I just like, I really want to make cards again. And I'd gotten so far away from it. I was like, I want to make cards. I want to do crazy stuff. Um, and like now I got the Copic marker collection and I've started collecting, um, La La Land Crafts, um, the, uh, Marcy and Luca stamps. Oh my God, they are so stinking adorable. And I just like absolutely love them. So yeah. Going more back into the card making right now. 
And while I'm speaking of it, um, we will, it looks like we will be um, heading back to the States, um, probably flying out of Germany around the 1st of July. <clears throat> so our household stuff will be shipped out near the end, sometime near the beginning of June, basically. Excuse my head. And so, there we go. So, I did get, um, we are memory keepers, they're new, um, well not they're new, I think their new one is the black one, possibly, I'm not sure. But I got their um, craft bags for carrying your craft supplies to like crops or whatever. Well, so that's what we got so far. Mine are going to be used to carry. I'm going to set aside a bunch of craft stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, to put in it um, to keep here at the house with us while until we leave, and to have with me in the states until our stuff gets delivered to us. Um, but that way I can still fulfill my requirements for diamond dyes. During that time, I will be honest, it will probably be a lot of card making just because I'm going to be limited on the amount of stuff I may be able to keep with me. So, um, I'll try to get some different stuff out here in the next month or so. Um, so that way y'all aren't like feeling cheated and stuff, you know. <laughs> All right. I'm just checking some scraps here to see. That one doesn't look half bad. But I think I like that better. All right. So yeah, so um, and during that time, during my move and getting settled, I will be honest, there'll be probably just some cards. Most likely, they'll just be showing the project, not tutorials, because my camera rig will be gone. Um, so it'll be harder for me to videotape actual tutorials, but I'll still be able to, um, you know, just videotape the project. So I just put that on there, held on with some washi tape. I'm just going to run it through the big shot. And I don't think it cut for a minute there. I was like, what is going on here? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to I'm not looking forward to leaving some of the friends here in Germany though. And I'm not looking forward, my uh, our neighbor that we hang out with a lot, our friend Randy, my kids are very, very attached to him. And I am not looking forward to them realizing that they're leaving Randy. Because that's going to be horrible. Alright, so as you can see, like, I want this length, but that is just way too big to go on this card. Correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do something about that. We can get out our trusty cutter board. Now, this is just over two inches. And our space to work with here is about one and a half inches. So I want to take this down to just an inch. So we're going to do some work here. All right. 
little tiny. Oh, I don't. That pencil doesn't erase real clearly. All right, you can't even see what I'm doing, so that doesn't really matter. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm using my Timmy ruler, and I'm finding the center point at the base of the little um, banner here. It's about my center, and then I'm just going a half an inch over and a half an inch over, putting little tick marks. Now let's see, that's what I thought. All right. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but oh, you can a little. My little tick marks are too high on my paper. Going up to the top of my board for this other one so I can line it up. Excuse my head. Oh, I don't even have to. Oh, I do. But with this one, I didn't have to put it on um, marks on that side because all I have to do is line it up on the one inch mark and cut. Now look at this. I have still have the fishtail, but it's a lot thinner and it will be easier to use. And then just erase away your pencil marks and you're good to go. Now I think I want to make this a happy birthday card. So bear with me for a second. Mm -mm. Trying to find my birthday card set. I really need some new way to store my stamps. I have one of these. Ugh. What do you call these things? Clip it up. Uh, but it's pretty well full and I have stamps piled in my window. So I have a window like right there. Big window with a probably almost a two foot deep windowsill. And yeah, it's it's horrible because my, I have like so much stuff just piled on there and a lot of it's stamps because they can't fit on my thingamabobber. Hmm. It's your day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's a birthday party. Happy birthday. Kind of like that. Have the best birthday ever. It's cute. I don't think I've ever used it. Oh, these are my pink stamper. She's retired now, but um, you can still find her stuff in different um, online stores and stuff. So she's got some great ones. They used to, she made them to, well, a lot of her sets were made to match up with Cricut cartridge, Cricut cartridges. Like she's got, um, Oh, what do you call it? The she's got a bunch of lines that go with like um creator the creator critter ones. So all right. What color ink? I don't think I want to use black. But it's gotta go on to blue. I'm thinking just darker blue. I think this will look good.
And then I like to um I have somewhere of course when I need it it's missing. I have a mouse pad. There it is. It got put in my pile of scrap papers. This is my old mouse pad. It's pictures of me and my hubby, or just my hubby, depending on the picture. Um, I watched a review on stamping one time, and the, the best results the lady got was with the Fiskars stamp press, and I want to get one of those, I just haven't yet. The second best was if you stamp with a mouse pad under you. So ever since I don't I don't have a desktop anymore, I just have my laptop. <laughs> yes, I realize I'm probably blocking your view, but I have to do this to make sure it's lined up because this is just the right size. But since I don't have a desktop, I don't have a use for um, a mouse pad because I don't have a mouse. Oh, I love it. Um, so I... use my mouse pad now in my craft area and when I get to pull it out I can see pictures of my hubby. So it's a win-win. I have another one. I have this one. It's not as thick though but it's my husband got it from a company he ordered car parts from and he only uses a laptop too. We don't actually even have a computer desk. We just use our laptops on our lap. Um, on our couch, so um, so yeah, so we had no use for mouse pads. Okay, I want to do that, but then it won't fit in a standard envelope. But doesn't it just look so plain just sitting there? Hmm. I don't want to put it on that because it's going to ruin my design. Like a butterfly would look cool because it would look like extended wings. Like you could actually make these into butterfly wings and make your own butterflies. Alright. Something about the paper. The paper itself is just too plain. Oh, but if I back it up right to the fold, that doesn't look half bad. Alright, now, to pop or not to pop? I think not to pop, because I think we have too much popping already. Or enough popping already. This is just a little tape runner thing, which I suck with this. I'm better with my ATG gun. I'm getting this all over my desk. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I'm better off going for my ATG gun than this little thing. <laughs> Sad, I know. There we go. And if you have some adhesive sticking out under the bottom there, you just rub it with your finger. Comes right off. Or, especially since I'm using white paper, and I don't want dirty marks or anything, you can use a regular eraser. Or, I worry that the adhesive erasers are going to rip my paper. Seems to be alright. Actually seems like it works better than the normal eraser. So okay, if you have an adhesive eraser, reach for it. Just be careful. Alright. Ow. So. 
Yep. Stupid adhesive got on the back. So there you have it. Only took me 30 minutes, but that was with some hemming and hawing and some picking stuff out and some just sitting here talking for a second or two. So I would say not too bad. And there, I mean, where did where did that go? Where did the die go? All right, if you see it, scream. <laughs> oh, so we took this big of a die and shrunk it down to that. So, makes it where you can use these big dies so you can have the length, but you don't have to have the thickness if you don't want it. And I am extremely happy. I couldn't believe I can't, I didn't think of this sooner. Because I've been, like, there's times I'm like, I need one really long, but I don't want it that thick. Well, duh, trim it down. So there you go. I hope you all like this project. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And as always, thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.